Hey Scorpio, this is Mama TPG with One Love One Light Tarot. Welcome to your summer kickoff. Um, basically combining, um, you know, the summer solstice, solar eclipse, new moon into a whole summer kickoff. So for me, uh, the solar eclipse was about release, releasing things that um, are no longer serving us. And then the new moon was about intentions and plan, and especially in regard to our life purpose, you know, a plan to, you know, take next steps towards our life purpose or fulfilling our life purpose. And then the summer solstice was all about new beginnings. So let's get started with a uh, message from the guides. Spirit spirit guides what do we have for um, Scorpio what do we have for Scorpio in regards to releasing what do they need to release and it says ask for guidance well okay that's what we're doing here. <laughs> All right. Spirit, what do we have for Scorpio for their intention, their life purpose? And we have family. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. Oh, excuse me. What spirit message do we have about new beginnings? What spirit message do we have about new beginnings for Scorpio? And we have Seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. Okay. So I feel like with this ask for guidance, I feel like with that being, you know, in regard to release, there's a need for you to stop feeling like you have to do everything alone. You are not alone. Ask for guidance from your spirit team. Ask for if there's something that you are seeking, you know, allow others to support you. You don't have to do everything alone. That doesn't mean that you are, you know, less than or anything. It just means that you care more about what you are trying to seek or what you are trying to achieve. Ask for assistance. It doesn't mean that, you know, um, that you're incapable of doing these things. It's just you're making a lot more work for yourself than necessary. So why is ask for guidance here for Scorpio? And we have the Queen of Cups. And the Page of Swords. Okay, so in this instance, I really feel like this is about, you know, feeling, you know, I feel like you are the Queen of Cups and it's, you know, whether male or female, and you may feel, you know, have a difficult time like asking somebody that you essentially are, you know, feeling like they may be younger than you or less experienced. So maybe there's an awkwardness to, you know, asking others for assistance. So this may be in regard to you know, some type of communication. This could be about, you know, ideas that you need for your business. I mean, this could be almost anything. And maybe we'll get some more clarification on that. 
but you know in fact I did um, in the daily blind spot that I do daily you know I think that there's a little bit of feeling superior and maybe this isn't even something you're aware of it's it's very hard to humble yourself to ask for help from someone if you feel that they are inferior to you and this doesn't make you a bad person it might be something that you're not even aware of it could be the lack of maturity in this person that makes you um, hesitant but whatever the situation is spirit is saying ask for guidance so you know ask your spirit team um, you know meditate or pray or whatever it is that you believe in and you know allow your spirit team to help guide you and carry you when you are feeling you know overwhelmed all right so why is family here for the life purpose and intention let's just pull these down a little bit And we have the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So I feel like, you know, there may have been some betrayal in within your family or your friend group. Um, this could be even in a relationship and this is affecting your family. But I feel like that cycle is ending and you just have to stand your ground. You have the higher ground just stand stand your ground and you will actually come out on top in this situation but we will get clarification on that as well so why is seek here for the new beginning for Scorpio page of wands Let's see here. page of wands and Wheel of Fortune. So I definitely see the Page of Wands as a seeker, for sure. And so it says the power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. And, you know, with getting the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Wands, I feel like there is a spark inside of you and this could be some type of um, this could be you seeking something in particular um, some spiritual awareness and I feel like you know it's all about divine timing and you know what you're seeking you will find so let's get a little bit more clarification on this on all of these things so why is the Queen of Cups here for Scorpio under ask for guidance maybe Queen of Cups is somebody um, you got the strength card so that is Leo maybe Queen of Cups is somebody that you can get guidance from so you have the strength card it says the grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges the power of kindness and forgiveness and time to embrace how wonderful you are. Okay, so I feel like there's definitely, you know, the Queen of Cups has her cup held out and she's looking at this Page of Swords. So this could be, you know, a child or, you know, um, there is some situation where you may have not handled it correctly and you are you know not sure how to approach without without admitting to yourself you know um, how that you said things you didn't mean because i really feel like this comes down to some type of cutting words okay so and this isn't for everybody this is just what i'm getting right here um you know this might be one person's particular situation so either you are the queen of cups or there's the queen of cups that will 
that may be someone you can ask for guidance on. How do I approach this person and ask for forgiveness? And, you know, looking at the situation, this is going to make you stronger and you have the strength to do this. And you will feel better and the other person will feel better or not. You know, I mean, that's something, you know, they say forgiveness is more about you than it is the other person. So why is the Page of Swords here? And we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this could be could have been at a job. This could be um, an earth sign. Reward yourself for all your hard work, being happily and successfully self-employed, cherishing your time alone. So, so I feel like this is this is probably in regard to work. And I feel like it is, you know, a different situation and ask your spirit team for guidance on how to approach this. I do feel regardless, this whole series or, you know, set of cards here speaks of forgiveness to me. And either you need to forgive or you need to ask for forgiveness. So take that how it resonates with you. So for family, why is the Ten of Swords here? For Scorpio. Ten of Wands. Ask for help from others. All work and no play. Being weighed down by too many responsibilities. So I feel like there's been a lot of... There may have been a lot of um, conflict and a lot of burdens that are happening within your family situation. And I'm not saying that that means... Uh, it, a lot of it could have been put on you. That doesn't mean that gives anybody the right to lash out, whether it's you or your family. But, you know, people do operate. They don't operate to their their highest good when they are burdened down or um, allowing themselves to be brought down by low vibrations of a lot of conflict here. Okay, so why is Seven of Wands here for family? The Empress. Okay, so I do see for here, either you are the Empress. It says time to take action, the power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury, which goes back to here. So I feel like... Um, I feel like it's about standing your ground and recognizing, you know, where the Empress allows people to support her and fortify her. She's strong on her own, but she recognizes the value of, you know, working, um, as a unit to bring growth for everybody and especially in this family situation it's not about putting it all on one person it's about you know what is going to bring growth and prosperity and abundance to the situation so you know sometimes you can you know get into a place of you know needing to control everything so you take all the burdens on yourself you take all the stress and anxiety of making sure that everybody is taken care of and that is, you know, kind of the downfall of the Empress. She cannot grow in that situation. Okay, so why is the Page of Wands here for Scorpio? And we have Awakening. Yeah, I feel like this is definitely about spiritual um, growth for you. And so this is a new beginning. This is something that's going to really spark um, a spiritual awakening. It says, change the way you're looking at the situation. Embrace your uniqueness. A temporary pause in the action. So, you know, you may need to take that, you know, kind of four of swords energy. That, um, that rest and recuperation. You have a lot of things, you know, ending here under family. And, and I do feel with this page of wands that it is, it's not it's a new cycle. It's about facing things in a brand new way 
in order to bring about growth to your family and, um, you know, ascension spiritually. So why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Scorpio? And we have the Queen of Winter, which is the Queen of Swords. So letting go of people or things that no longer serve you, you know, um, it's time. It's, it's like, you know, you, this is, again, Wheel of Fortune is the end of a cycle. This is time to, you know, um, allow your intuition to guide you and your spirit, you know, to ascend. And you may need that time, like I said, of, you know, uh, rest and recuperation and introspection. So, you know, the Queen of Winter, Queen of Swords is um, very self-sufficient. Um, but she's also very aware that she can't do everything on her own because if she, if she puts her energy into 20 things, she's not going to be her best self in any one of those things. And that is just not acceptable for the queen of swords, right? She's going to focus on things that she knows she can conquer, that she knows she can handle, and that she knows are um, taking her to, on her highest path. Okay, so let's get a Divine Doors guidance. Spirit, what guidance do we have for Scorpio? Okay, Divine Guardian, do not be nervous today or tonight. The path you are on will lead you just right. Yes. And we have guidance and guardian. You have, you have support around you that is leading you right to your highest good here. Any other guidance for Scorpio? This is the door. And it says, heart healing. Morning now has had its time. Do not pay it a single dime. Emerge from the darkness. A new day starts. Let light embrace the healing heart. And that's what I'm really seeing here is like some healing and awakening that's happening here in your heart chakra and solar plexus. So if, if chakra work is something that you are... I highly recommend, you know, um, meditating on clearing the heart and the solar plexus chakra. Any other guidance for Scorpio? And it's hard to tell if this is the way. Yeah, that's, there we go. That's the way it looks. And it says nomad. The nomadic wanderer lies deep inside. So take the leap now. Don't crawl back and hide. So, you know, you may be going on a spiritual journey. And I, I do see that with this seek card that you're seeking something. And you have, you know, the queen of swords here in this sled. And you have the wheel of fortune. And there are things that indicate possible travel. But if not, it's just a spiritual journey that it's, you know, it's time. It's time you're, it's like that timing of um, divine timing that you are due for a upgrade spiritually. Like it's time you put in the work and you are going to have that, um, that moment, that epiphany where you're going to, you know, go to the next level. All right, Scorpio, I hope you have a wonderful summer consider your summer kicked off now. So um, enjoy. And thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, and remember that the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.